Often in life, the simple things are overlooked. Though there are more important things in life, there's nothing wrong with appreciating the simplest of things that make life that much better. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray, a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair, upon whose bosom snow has lain, who immediately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. This famed and beautiful piece of poetic literature was penned by Joyce Kilmer in 1913. He was a poet slash journalist known for his writings about the enticing charms of nature. He was also known for his strong religious faith. Although I myself do not share his faith, I do share his love and respect for nature. Hearing the birds chirp, the leaves stir, and the smells of fresh air. Nature is beautiful and I'm in love. But trees, trees are special. There's a presence that comes with trees. How tall and powerful they seem, yet they're so gentle and innocent. Trees see no evil or race. They embrace and house the creatures of death and those in fear. Birds can nest high in the arms of a tree to protect and nurture their kin, while a raccoon can snuggle up with the boys down in the belly of that same tree. These two creatures from different worlds coexisting at the kind mercy of a single tree. Trees are giving. They bear fruit, shade, and shelter, and they ask for nothing in return. And yeah, maybe humans don't seem to have the greatest relationship with trees. We cut them down, and sometimes we burn them. Which sucks. But like the lion mercifully kills to stay alive, sometimes we have to do the same. And I believe that's how it's supposed to be. As humans, we don't have claws, fangs, wings, or fur. We have to make our own. We have to forge tools and fashion clothes. And like any other animal, we need a habitat. And like other animals, we have to build our own. Ours just have evolved to become more elaborate. I believe that trees are the givers of the earth. In life, they shelter and nurture animals inside, around, and on top of them. But in death, they are constructed for similar purposes by other animals, like us. But they are alive, which is weird. Unlike every other living thing on the planet, trees and other plants alike don't have a destination. They don't hunt or mate. They stay in the same place their entire life, which is a long life. While the average lifespan of a tree is approximately 50 years, other trees like the white oak Quercus alba can live up to 600 years. Not to mention Pando, which is the name of a clonal colony of quaking aspens in Utah's Fish Lake National Forest, which has been roughly estimated to be around 80. 80,000 years old. Fuck me. That's a long time to just stand around. But imagine if those trees could talk. They have seen some shit. Yeah, I suppose trees kind of move. I mean, they grow, they drop seeds to populate, they stretch their roots to find nourishment, and most all plants will occasionally move their leaves to face away and towards the sun. But isn't it strange that when we think of nature, we think of the activity, being healthy, hiking, running, roughing it? Movement. It's a fundamental of nature. Yet 80% of the biomass of land-based nature is plants. And plants don't fucking move, y'all. They just remain where they are. The plantae kingdom is the perfect example of minimalism. Plants don't need much. Soil for growth, sunlight and water for nourishment, and some space to flourish. They aren't greedy, but like any other living thing, they will fight to survive when food and space are scarce. We all could learn something from plants, from the mighty trees. You see, we often ignore plants as if they are a space filler. We treat them as an object, but they aren't. They aren't something you just stuff in the ground to fill voids in your backyard. They aren't just a thing to gawk at or lean against. They're alive. We may not be able to talk to them or entirely relate to them, but they live among us, with us. They are the unsung heroes, the mothers and fathers of the earth. They care for and give their lives for all the creatures that roam the planet. Though we may not all believe in the same God and some don't believe there is one at all, I'm sure we all can agree that trees could only be made by something greater than us.